It was another action-packed week in DBU athletics as the Patriots baseball team began a four-game homestand in front of a sold-out Horner ballpark on Tuesday against the Texas A&M Aggies, while the men's and women's tennis teams traveled to Mississippi and Alabama to compete in four matches. This week's Patriot Insider begins, though, with a look at the men's basketball team as they made their second consecutive trip to the NCAA tournament. After posting a 23-10 record and reaching the Heartland Conference Tournament Championship for the fourth straight year, the Patriots punched their ticket to the South Central Regional in Canyon, Texas, where they were tabbed as the number five seed and faced four seed Texas A&M Commerce on Friday. In a first half that saw DBU jump out to a 38-35 lead at the break, the Patriots and Lions would battle back and forth over the final 20 minutes. Led by senior JT Harris's 23-point performance, DBU held a four-point lead with just over four minutes remaining before AM Commerce staged a valiant comeback to pull out a 72-70 win over the Patriots. You know, it felt like we were in a good position with the uh, lead, four points, and the ball under a minute to go. You know, we, we feel confident in closing those situations out usually, and uh, today we just uh, came up a little short. And uh, like I said, Commerce made, made some plays down the stretch that we got to give them credit for. Um, but overall, I'm proud of my guys. I, I love going to battle with this group. And, um, and uh, I'm, I'm thankful for the, for the opportunity to coach them. In baseball, the Patriots opened the week in front of a sold-out Horner ballpark on Tuesday night against the 18th-ranked Texas A&M Aggies. Leading by two runs in the sixth inning, back-to-back -back home runs from Bryce Ball and Blaine Jones staked the Patriots to a 5-1 lead before A&M pulled it within one run in the seventh. Holding on to a 5-4 advantage into the ninth, Burl Carraway closed out the Aggies, retiring the side in order to earn his first career save. Following a win over A&M, the Patriots dropped the first two games of their series against the Houston Cougars before salvaging the series with a win on Sunday. Down 4-2 in the bottom of the seventh, the Patriots stormed back with a five-run inning, highlighted by a two-run single by Jimmy Glowinki to take the lead. DBU would add one more run in the eighth on a Luke Bandy home run to close out the Cougars with an 8-4 victory, running DBU's record to 14-5. You know, sometimes in a, the course of a season, you have things that are turning points, and um, I hope this weekend was. I think there were some things that we had to learn from the first two games, uh, just the way we played, kind of our mentality a little bit. Um, so I hope, we, I hope we learned some things from those two games and then uh, took some confidence from the comeback today. The top-ranked DBU women's golf team traveled to Vista, California last week where they placed second at the Cal State San Marcos Fujikura Invitational. Ann Parmeter and Addison Mitchell each posted top 10 finishes with Parmeter carding an even par through two rounds to place second while Mitchell shot five over to finish in a tie for 10th. Both the men's and women's tennis teams also hit the road last week as they made the track to both Mississippi and Alabama to compete in four matches. Following their upset win over number 23 Tarleton State on March 8th, the Lady Patriots went 3-1 last week, posting victories over Delta State, Spring Hill, and Mobile. With the recent surge, the women's team now boasts a 13-5 record as they get set to travel to Abilene on Monday. That's all for this week's Patriot Insider. To keep up with all the latest news surrounding the DBU Athletics program, you can follow the Patriots online at dbupatriots.com and through social media on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You can also download the new DBU Athletics app to keep track of all your favorite teams. Until this time again next week, for Patriot Insider, I'm Reagan Ratcliffe.